My name is Harald Zuri. I'm from the Medical University in Graz and I'm heading there the Interdisciplinary Metabolic Medicine Trials Unit. The EMI trial was started after we have seen the first results of the SGLT2 inhibitors and we now know that there are beneficial effects of the SGLT2 inhibitors in heart failure across the entire range of left ventricular ejection fraction. Uh, and we see also a very early effect after the initiation of the treatment. So keeping that in mind, and the fact that myocardial infarction is a frequent reason for heart failure, we thought it uh, might be beneficial to start early after an acute myocardial infarction with an SGLT2 inhibitor treatment uh, and see where this is leading, whether this can uh, have some beneficial impact on cardiac function on cardiac structure and biomarkers of cardiac function. We performed a randomized controlled, placebo-controlled uh, blinded trial and we enrolled 476 participants um, and they were basically equally um, um, allocated to one of the treatment groups and uh, we included them right after the acute myocardial infarction, so within 72 hours and we brought them back in for another visit six weeks later, 12 weeks later, 26 weeks later. And the primary outcome of the study was the change in NT pro BNB at week 26 uh, between the two groups and of course, cardiac function and structural uh, imaging on echo. Well, what we have seen is that um, the NT pro BNB levels were 15% lower uh, with empagliflozin as compared to placebo, which was st statistically significant. We have also seen an improvement in left ventricular ejection fraction uh, and uh, diastolic uh, function parameters. And we have also observed a reduction in left ventricular end systolic and end diastolic uh, volumes. Uh, giving us kind of a robust picture of beneficial effects with empagliflozin in this cohort. We had the data in heart failure. There is now more and more data emerging in kidney function. We had diabetes data, but so far we didn't have a lot of data uh, with empagliflozin in myocardial infarction. So this is a first important step, uh, but of course it's not a, an outcome trial yet. Um, Although the data look intriguing, we of course need to wait for the DAPRMI and for the impact trial to give us the definitive answer.